Hello everyone. <clears throat> so there is this term in physics uh, which we call as uh, Doppler effect and uh, many of you must be knowing what Doppler effect means. It, it simply means that if there are two people, well, one person A and another person B and say I call person A as somebody who makes some noise who is creating sound signals in the atmosphere and person B is an observer who is listening to those sound signals. So Doppler effect says that whenever this person A and person B, the source of the sound and the observer of the sound, the source of the sound and the observer of the sound, whenever they are in relative motion with respect to each other, you can wave your hands in any way or direction. Whenever the source and observer are in relative motion with respect to each other, then what happens? This particular thing happens and this particular thing is whatever the frequency or whatever was the sound level which was getting transmitted from the source end, same will not be the sound level or the frequency which will be heard by the observer. Very important. So, I repeat, whenever there is a relative motion between the source and the observer, the frequency with which he is transmitting sound not be the same frequency with which he can hear that sound. So, there is some frequency mismatch and this frequency mismatch is called as Doppler's effect. The frequency which this person is listening to is a different frequency as compared to the frequency which was emitted by this person. I ask a question that is there a special case in this Doppler effect where I can say that although they are moving with respect to each other, they may be going around, but is there a case that the frequency emitted by the source is same as frequency heard by this person? If he is emitting a higher sound level, maybe he's receiving a lower sound level. If he is emitting a lower sound level, maybe he receives a higher sound level. But is there also a case when the frequency with which or the frequency which is being transmitted by this person is same as the frequency which is being heard by this person? And the answer is yes. The answer is something like this. If this is the source and this is the observer, if both are traveling in the same direction, and you can derive it mathematically, if both are traveling in the same direction with same speed, if both the source and the observer are traveling in the same direction with same speed, then there is no Doppler effect. Whatever is the frequency, whatever is the frequency which is being emitted by the source, same will be the frequency which will be received by the observer. And we see its effects. Physics is fun. It's beautiful. We see the effects of this concept in our daily lives. In an organization, say I'm the CEO of the organization and I have, an, I have a vice president to whom I have to talk. I have to send a message through my vice president to my entire team, to every nook and corner of my organization. When I say something, say I give message A to my vice president. He listens message A, but he speaks message B. And this is called as communication gap. A very dreadful and dangerous thing for any kind of organization. Whatever I speak, he listens. But when he has to speak, he speaks something else. Maybe instead of his, he's saying was and his entire team thinks it was past, it's gone. None, none, none of our business, not, not for our use. But that is not the case. The thing is, as long as there will be this relative motion between me and my team, as long as there will be relative motion between me and my immediate subordinate or junior, as long as there will be relative motion between any junior and immediate senior or as long as there will be this relative motion between any person who speaks and his audience in an organization that day will be the day of jeopardy for the organization and the revival is going to be very difficult and I bet you if the every team member walks like this same direction, same velocity. Will you experience Doppler effect? No. Whatever frequency I will emit, same will be heard by that person. Same frequency he will speak. Same frequency will be heard by his juniors. So Doppler effect comes into play for the organizational behavior. And that is that there should be no frequency mismatch between me and my juniors. There should be no communication gap. I want my vice president to communicate message A to his juniors. 
But if he communicates message B, that means there is a humongous communication gap in my organization. It means me and my vice president and me and my team are not moving like this. There is some wayward relative motion. This wayward relative motion is the relative motion of the thoughts, the ideas, the goals and the focus. But if we move like this, every member of the team works like this. That means we have similar thought process. We, have, we share similar ideas. We have one common goal and one common focus. And then what will happen is Doppler effect will not affect us. Whatever is the frequency of my thoughts, same will get transmitted to the other brains of the organization. They will accept that frequency and they will transmit it further till this frequency without any mismatch reaches every nook and corner of the organization. So here it is. The first concept I have taught you today, physics, Doppler effect. Doppler effect, very important for organizations. The special case of Doppler effect, that means if the source of sound and observer are moving like this, then the Doppler effect is absent. Whatever is the frequency emitted by this person, same will be the frequency received by this person. And when it's physically it is this motion, but mentally, emotionally, it means that the th thoughts are in synchronous. Everything is in synchronism. Me, my seniors, my juniors, we all have share the same group, same set of ideas. So that's how it works. And you should follow this for your organizations if you're running some. You can read about Doppler effect. It's, it's a very beautiful effect. You can read about it on internet. But don't go into mathematical calculations because very few of you will be able to understand those mathematical calculations. But understand the concept, the relative motion. And it rains on. And if we are going like this, sink, whatever I'll transmit, he will receive. And my work is done. Thank you.